Our next guest plays Leon Black, the bathrobe wearing, testicle exposing, ruckus making roommate on Curb Your Enthusiasm. You can see the series finale Sunday on HBO and Max. Say hello to JB Smooth. <laughs> Great. Holy cow, do you look good. You see my closet, man. It's incredible, man. I bet it is. A bathroom in there, everything, man. I don't gotta ever leave it. Is a little there? kitchenette, a little kitchenette in my closet, a little bathroom. Do you really? A little urinal. Oh, I like that. I like that well, a lot. People don't do that. Is everything uh, color coordinated in Everything your... is lined up perfectly. My clothes fight to wear me. <laughs> I walk in the room, I'm like, me, 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 me. I'm like, everybody shut up! <laughs> <laughs> well, you the winner is a winner tonight. This is That's this is nice for right sure. Like, th th this is so, this material is so nice. It's almost like someone could come in here and sit on me. You know what I mean? Yes. Can I, I'm may like a, I I'm touch like, it? I'm, I'm, I'm like a love seat. I'm, I'm like a walking, moving love seat. Would it be okay if I touch your material? Just touch it. Touch Thank it. You. Rub it. Oh, yeah. It is nice. It is. It looks nice. Chase, little yeah. Chase Lounge. You have know what I mean? Have you ever met a... a little footstool. A little footstool <laughs> like this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. I'm very comfortable. I'm very comfortable. <laughs> Blue. Have you, do you know Billy Crystal? Is he somebody you know? Oh my goodness, man. Billy Crystal is a legend. Yeah. I, I was, first time meeting him. I never met him before. Oh, this is your first time, okay. I've only met him through TV and, and through movies. Amazing actor, man. What's your favorite movie of Billy's? Oh, man, uh, let's see here. Harry Met Sally? Well, yeah, that's a good Ooh. choice, yeah. See, yeah. but he took too long, man. What you do you mean? To, you supposed to tap that ass right away. <laughs> He should have had me. He should have had me in that, in, in that, in that car scene. He should have had me in the trunk, <laughs> feeding his ass lines. You know what I mean? It would have been like it would have Harry slept with Sally. That's what it would have been like. <laughs> too much time wasted. Too much time lollygagging around. Yes, Tap that ass and move on, baby. <laughs> it would have been a twelve-minute movie had you been in movie. the trunk. Bam, bam. Is it really the final episode of Curb Your Enthusiasm on Sunday? I don't believe it. I just don't. Uh, you're like me. See, you're, you're good friends with Larry. I know I'm Larry, I'm friends yeah. with Larry. I'm telling you, I don't believe Larry. I, don't I, I, believe I just can't either. see the man sitting still at home with his leg crossed, drinking espressos or whatever he drinks. I don't know what he drinks. But I can't see him sitting at home, man. Yeah, yeah. how much golf can a human being play, really? Oh, he loves some golf. Let me tell you something. He does. He Do you play golf, with man. him? Are you social with him? Only on the set. Uh -huh. we, we air golf together on the set. <laughs> that's all he does. Th that's his practice all day. He just, all day. <laughs> just like, all day. That's all he does all day. Yeah, they do that. That's the thing. Then, then I ask his friends, is Larry good? They say, Larry ain't <laughs> 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 I knew it. I knew he wasn't <laughs> I mean, I mean, Boy, say that on TV, but I have to say, I you know I watch I watch the show quite religiously, and I I saw Bruce Springsteen on the show last night, and he was he was hilarious. He was so funny, it's almost disheartening. It's it's amazing. You know what? See, I'm like this man. I watch the show as a fan, so here's what I do: I, I do my scenes and I leave. I, I don't want to know everything because I watch the show like a, I don't like seeing. Screening them. I don't like doing none of that stuff. I want to see it for myself. And when I saw the episode, man, let me tell you something. The boss did his thing, baby. Did the you get to spend amazing. time with the boss? No, I didn't spend no time with the damn boss, man. Yeah, you were not in the scene. Yeah. I wanted to meet the boss. Yeah. You know, like I just met you know, Billy Crystal back there. Yeah. I hugged him. I hugged him for a long time. Got some of that Billy Crystal cologne, <laughs> put it behind my ear. <laughs> cologne called success, you know what I mean? Success you got cologne. none of that off the boss, though. Ooh. No, not the boss. I didn't meet him, man. Leon, what season did Leon start on the show? Oh, man. So 2007. The end of 06. 06. Okay, number six. Yep, and okay. that's season six. Was it always, and I remember, like, you, you, there was a hurricane, you went to live at Larry and Cheryl's house, and then you decided not to leave. Is that correct? That was the turning point right there. Yeah. Once you decide not to leave, they can't do nothing with you. 
<laughs> so it's kind of like, Jimmy, it's kind of like when I hosted for you yeah. last, uh, last year, whatever it was, yeah. and I fired your whole writing staff. <laughs> that was, then yeah, I, we, yeah, yeah, yeah. Then I get back here, and you hired everybody Yeah, well, we back. had to bring them back. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I but see what happened. Yeah. <laughs> you, you, um, were you, it was it int intended that you would be a regular character on every single you, show you know from what? then on? I don't know how that works, but I do know you show up early, you leave late, you, you, you make people laugh, you know, you, you courteous to your crew, and, and that's a family over there. Jimmy, let me tell you something, man. You know, I've been doing this for a while now. I'm 37 years in uh, into the business, and I've never worked on a set that was more passionate about what they do. And from watching that show um, for four or five, six seasons, man, before I got on it, you know, and being able to get on that show and meet these people in person, and this train was already moving, man. You're talking about six seasons without me. Yeah. Moving already. Success, everything. Emmy award-winning show, man. You know, me just a, a kid who just took an improv class, man, in, in 1990, whatever it was, 93, 94, man, and end up on a show like this, man. This is this is part of the journey, man. And yes, man, they are as as real and as amazing as you see on TV. And um Man, it, it's just... Was it, was it that, fi shooting that final episode, was right. it emotional? Did people, were there tears shed? Let me see, a few people did, did shed a few tears, man. You know, people who I didn't think cried a lot. I think, I think Jeff Garland cried. Uh-huh. Yeah. I think, you know... <laughs> what kind some of people, crying? You know, there's, like, there's like different levels of crying. Uh -huh. Like, there's like the, the well up, where you see the eyes are totally full, like a jacuzzi, right? Uh-huh. <laughs> Like, if you blink, it's gonna come out. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. like, you gotta hold your eyes open the whole time so, so you won't be a punk ass in front of everybody else, you know? <laughs> my mama calls, my, my mom calls that, my mom calls that person a waterhead. <laughs> <laughs> mama said, oh, look at, look at that, look at that waterhead over there. Yeah. I mean, someone's about to cry. Larry didn't cry, though, right? I didn't see Larry cry. No, yeah, Larry, Larry was... No, Larry's, Larry's a tough guy, man. You he think he's ever tough. cried in his life? Man, I, I feel think... like no is the answer. I don't think that guy has ever cried in his life, man. You yeah. know what? Um, but you know what? I'm, I'm sure he has, man. But you know, we. What about your testicles? Um, oh. The. This was a major uh, storyline. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> this is a storyline. A wild storyline. Yeah. yeah. You know what's crazy when you can see someone's testicles through long pants? Now, that's some long ass testicles. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Did you, like, you were wearing those shorts. Were those your shorts Ooh. or those special shorts? They, 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 I, had a, I had a scrotum stand-in come on, come in. Because they, they asked me if I was comfortable using my own scrotum. I said, no, I'm not too comfortable using my own scrotum. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Especially for stunts and stuff like that now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> is there like a... So they were like able... a scrotum stunt man who would come in and fill in for me? So this was an actual stunt man who oh, scrotum. Oh, came in. A scrotum guy came in. <laughs> so I didn't want to use my own scrotum. You know what I mean? It, it just felt weird. Using yeah. My own scrotum in that scene. Yeah. So they brought a guy in there. He was a little cocky. You know what I mean? He was. Yeah. Oh, well, sure. Yeah. A little cocky. Pun <laughs> intended. That was a little cocky. I was like, this guy's doing. He's doing too much. You know Did what this scrotum guy DTM. cry? Did he cry at the end? Of the <laughs> <laughs> man, that dude has some. He has a scrotum on him, man. He you does. Know what I mean? Oh, God bless him. Everybody's been porn back in the days. I don't know. <laughs> Did you keep anything from the show? Do you keep, like, a bathrobe or any... Uh, oh, man. Leon's wardrobe is, is vast. Yeah. You know what I mean? But I don't want to put that junk in my good closet. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, it doesn't seem like your kind of but, thing. But, but, you know what? I think Leon has a style all his own, you know? He had the, uh, he had the robe. A lot of things are very intentional. Because when, you know, you do a show, they bring you in, and they allow you to pick out your wardrobe. So, you know, we had the, the slides, of course. The socks up to the knee, the white socks up to the knee. Yeah. Uh, we had the robe with no. Now I told him the robe should not have a belt. It should be. Like he lost the belt a long time ago, <laughs> but he still wears the robe, and he just holds his hand like this, <laughs> like a tall black Napoleon. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> like Napoleon. Like Napoleon holding his jacket shut because he lost all his buttons on his uniform. You know what I mean? That's how I felt. See that? Genius comes and the in many rags, forms. The -rags, the, oh, and the do-rags. And the do-rags. I must have a hundred do-rags, man. No, I hope you save some of those. You... I, I got to have some of those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those, yeah, those could be big, yeah. And the chains. Oh, man. I, had, I do the chains. Um, I started doing the chains, like, maybe about four seasons ago. I said, I want to have all Leon's fans on chains, like the ruckus. 
and lamping. You know what I mean? Uh-huh. I, that's how I do it, you know? <laughs> that kind of stuff. Get in that ass. Get in that ass. I love, I love those. Yeah. And people love it. People love it, Jimmy. They, oh, yeah. They would take photos of their TV screen and post it. <laughs> they say, oh, I got to get this one. Yeah. yeah. Well, maybe a line of Leon jewelry will be your next step, you know? <laughs> That's a, that's a great idea. Man. Yeah, thank you. I appreciate and, and, it. And maybe I get one with a scroll them hand. Oh, them. yeah. <laughs> you and the, well, you got to get permission from the scrotum guy. <laughs> J.B. Smoove, everybody. The series finale of Curb Enthusiasm, Sunday night, 10 o'clock on HBO and Max. We'll be back with Sir. Ta-da-da. <laughs>